In this video, we're going to continue talking about EVA, or Economic Value Added. And in this video, we're going to focus on the concept of risk. Now, I know it seems like I'm jumping around to a lot of concepts in this video series on EVA, but that's because there's a lot involved in this calculation. Um, we started out in the first video talking about productivity. And then in the second video, we talked about assets and profit and how they're included in the EVA calculation. And in this video, we're going to talk about risk and how risk gets included in the calculation. And so I encourage you to keep watching these videos on EVA because by the end of this series, <laughs> I'm going to bullseye in on the central concept here. And this is a very powerful tool to use in your business, but you have to understand all the pieces that come into play. So, <laughs> in this video, we're talking about an extremely important element here, and that is risk. <clears throat> so to get started, there's an important element involved, and it deals with time. So, Whenever you deal with your financial statements, there's a, a critical thing to understand about time. Your balance sheet is based off of a snapshot in time. So at one snapshot in time, what are my assets and my liabilities? That's what's on the balance sheet. Your income statement is different. Your income statement deals with what happens over a period of time? What is the profit I generated over this period in time? And so your balance sheet will have your uh, two snapshots in time. It'll have your uh, assets and liabilities at the beginning of a period and at the end of a period. So you get these two snapshots. Well, your income statement shows you what's happening throughout this period. Do you see how that works? Well, when you introduce this element of time, you also introduce risk. And that's what we're trying to understand here. Um, because let's imagine you're an investor, right? And you're sitting here at the beginning period on your balance sheet. You're looking to contribute so, many, so much capital to a business, right? So you're gonna, uh, put all of these assets into a business at the beginning period in time. Well, <laughs> you don't know for sure what the performance is going to be throughout that period. You don't know exactly what the profit's going to be. That's a level of uncertainty and that is risk, right? So you're going to give these assets to the business, but you're uncertain about what level of profit you're going to achieve by the end of the period, how they're going to produce with those assets that you gave them. So, <laughs> let's use the example at the end of the period. Let's say you're the investor and you're sitting at the end of the period looking backwards, right? So now you know what the profit was, you know how much money you generated over the period, you know what your starting assets were, Right? But if you were to calculate out what is the theoretical economic impact that happened during that period, it would be silly to do that without incorporating the risk that you took on at the beginning. That's what you need to understand is what was the risk you were holding throughout that period. If you try to calculate economic value added, but you're only looking at assets and profit, you're missing a huge component of the story. And that component is risk. So, how do we calculate risk? Well, let me put back the equation that we talked about in the last video, where EVA equals no PAT minus the capital charge. Well, risk gets calculated in with this capital charge. So we had talked about how no PAT deals with your profit, right? And capital charge deals with your assets. But it's more than that. Capital charge is calculated looking at assets and risk. 
Because what we're trying to determine is how many of your total assets are at risk. That's what we want to know. What is the value that's at risk? That's what's important. We're going to forget about all these other assets because we want to understand what's at risk. And here's why. Because let's say you're that investor and you're sitting at the beginning of the period. And let's say you have two different investment opportunities. You have two companies with the exact same level of assets and the exact same level of expected profit. right? But these two companies may not be exactly the same if they have different levels of risk. So let's say one company is very high risk and the other company is very low risk. Well, <laughs> that investor is going to look at those two opportunities very differently. It's a very different story. I mean, they could both have the same profit, the same level of assets, but if in one company the investor is taking on a whole lot more risk, there's a lot more, uh, a lot more of his capital is at risk. And that's what we want to understand. So. I want to get to the key concept here that I want you to take away. And that is that economic value added is calculated based on three elements. Profit, assets, and risk. Right? You need all three to understand the economic impact of what's going on. And Here's why all this is important. I mean, if you, if, you, <laughs> if you don't end up understanding the calculation, if you don't understand any of this EVA nonsense, please take away from this video the central concept that the, the three things in economic activity deal with assets, profit, and risk. Because what happens is, every day, you are making financial decisions. You're sitting behind your desk in your business and you're making these choices, these economic choices. And unless you incorporate into your decision-making process all three of these elements, you're working off an incomplete data set. And that's what I see happen is I'll see somebody out there and they'll pick up their income statement and they'll understand their profit and boom, they'll make a decision, right? Or they'll look at the assets that, they're, that are involved in the decision and boom, they'll make a decision. But what you want to do is you want to look at your decisions holistically. Take the time to step back and say, what's happening on an economic level in this, this decision? What is the capital that's involved? What's the profit I expect to make? And what is the level of risk? Is this, is this profit that I think is going to come in, is it a sure thing? Or is it uncertain? Is it like a startup activity that there's a lot of uncertainty about? And you need to understand all those elements. I mean, write those elements down. What are your assumptions? Because if you incorporate all those things into your decision-making process, you're going to make better financial choices and have better outcomes. So, in the next video, we're actually going to jump into calculating out EVA. And that's the fun part. So, join me in that video.